We are getting something of a story of two distinct markets, even though we're supposed to be uh, one country, two systems. Hong Kong stocks uh, 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 chalking up gains of 400, north of 400 points yesterday. Looks like the, uh, 21, the 21,000 level is proving to be a very strong resistance point, uh, resistance points for the Hang Seng Index. Meantime, post-Olympics, everything seems to be de deflating, be deflating in China with uh, corporate earnings. A uh, bit of a culprit these days. Joining us this morning, Brooke McConnell from South Ocean Management. Haven't you seen you in a while, big guy? Good morning. How are the games? Good? Yeah. 51 golds. Can't do much better than that, huh? Uh, they, uh, they did quite well, I think. They did very well. Well, then again, it's a bit of a Soviet-style apparatchik for training <laughs> these uh, Olympians. Anyway, the markets. Uh, Post-Olympic cheer in the markets. No, nada. What happened? Still weak sentiment and just uh, risk aversion, I think. Uh, You've had a gigantic change, and that's been uh, precipitated by last year's. I, if you go back a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, the market went up 50% from 20,000 to 30,000 in about a month. And it was that through train coming through that uh, everybody got excited about here in Hong Kong. I'm going to talk about the Hong Kong market. That's a dead deal, isn't it? Well, as far as we year. can tell, it has not been uh, risen from the ashes that we know of. But mm -hmm. it, it, there was, there's huge. Uh, uh, exuberance back then uh -huh. and today you've got just massive despondency and that's just hasn't changed yet where's that coming from where, where is that coming from where's the money going why can't these why can't people dump these stocks fast enough we're talking distinctly about the Chinese markets here obviously well in Hong Kong uh, in fact the Hang Seng index over a 12 month period you go back 12 months it's up mm -hmm. amazingly but the second tier and third tier stocks where we like to to look at are down significantly, 40, 50, 60 cent percent declines. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that arena, there has been a tremendous amount of uh, um, despondency, if I okay. can put it that uh, way. Well, Easy. to be fair, we're looking at an index here, which represents, well, I don't remember what the number is, 38 stocks? Something like that? Something like that. Something like that. A distinct minority. They're the biggest cap stocks. They make up the biggest chunk of uh, share capitalization. Let's talk about what you've been involved in, right. uh, in the markets. You like. You still like the food theme. You still like the agra That's theme. That's a great Top theme. holding still, Chowda? Chowda. Modern agriculture. They, they had one of the best business models I know of, um, uh, I've come across in my career. In, in two sentences, what, what do they do again, just for those who uh, sure. haven't paid attention the they last go, couple of years? Let's see, I can do it in two sentences. They go into a, a village and they buy out, lease from all the farmers, mm -hmm. a big plot of land, mm -hmm. give them a chunk of money for leasing, mm -hmm. and then pay them a, a dividend every month mm -hmm. for the lease. To, and then hire these farmers to raise to raise vegetables. The old-fashioned way or the modern they way? They bring in all these modern um, techniques, farming um, um, uh, techniques to an organic, mm -hmm. under organic um, uh, fertilizing. So they produce a better product, and then they take the product straight to the wholesale market. Yep. So they're doing well. That stock is in the money. That stock very is done well, very well, money. relatively, yeah. But is this one of those stocks which benefits when everybody's afraid that food prices are going to drive them to the brink of starvation? Or do they do well regardless of what, you know, wheat prices, soy prices, kale prices are they, doing? They'll build their earnings on the land acquisition. They're, they're, they're doubling land acquisitions every three years. They're so they're more building. They're cheaply now, I would presume, than they were a couple years ago because prices have come off. Uh, they're way out in the rural areas, so that area has not seen the fluctuations that you've seen in, uh, the, in the Shanghai and the uh -huh. coastal areas. Well, it's not speculation in any, in any event. This is really, this is uh, taking arable land for food production Correct. purposes, so Correct. they're not involved in that kind of game. Correct. So it's, it's, it's based on the expansion of, of, of a government-backed entity that wants, you know, the fragmented poor farmers uh, of, the, uh, of the nation to now come into the modern world and start you know, the wastage of, of, of food that gets to market is, is, yep. is huge. So okay. this is a much more efficient system. For another, another, another one of your favorites right. here. I'm not sure why uh, we're showing wheat futures, but well, anyway, that's what your price of Wheaties is doing. Hang Thai Consumables. Correct. Pull this one up. Stock 197. Similar company, packaged food, beverage, house, well, not really, household yep. consumer products. So they make stuff for the kitchen and the bathroom. This one's not doing so well. And uh, the price of the shares aren't doing well, but the business is doing extremely when, well. When were you buying into this stock? At $1.79? We, we, we we're about, this is about our cost right now, um, on average. Okay, so you've averaged in. You didn't go Correct. Per, per chunk in one go. Correct. Okay. Correct. 
So we've gotten into the, this level. Um, the, the, the business uh, is importing goods into the China market, um, consumable items. And importing stuff into the who makes stuff cheaper than China for the house? Well, you uh, take Thai sauces. These are not oh, 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 not okay. Budweiser beer or anything, but they're. <laughs> But, and also they have a cold storage um, uh, facility up in Shanghai mm -hmm. where they import, they uh, bring in, let's say, New Zealand lamb and then sell it to the high-end um, uh, restu uh, restaurants and hotels in, in Shanghai. So uh -huh. there's, a, there's a very big growing business. They've put up a gigantic distribution business throughout China. You still like this one at 80 oh, or 90 cents? Very cheap. Okay. Where's it going to go in a year? Two bucks? No idea. You just uh, like the targets, fundamentals? Yeah. I got a target on it, but I it'd probably be on the uh, on the, uh, the next few earnings. Tell, uh, tell. Uh, my target right now is uh, substantially higher where we are today. It's about it's over three dollars. Wow. One more. Uh, we're going to hold you to this, but I'm going to keep this note. Green Global Resources, biofuel. Correct. Play. Correct. Biofuels has come off as a uh, as a theme. Oh, this stock is a penny stock right now. Correct. <laughs> this is what's happened to the uh, small cap companies. Uh, mm -hmm. We're fortunate enough we can get into smaller cap stocks like this. But we bought this at your cost is more than nine cents. Come on, cost. We we bought it in at a cost uh, of twenty cents, and it is was at selling at two times my estimates for next year. Mm -hmm. It went to one times my next estimates. What's estimates the lot for next size? Four hundred share, four hundred shares, something, a thousand. Uh, well, even if it is, it's like ninety bucks. It's a board lot. You know, this has been devastation throughout, and it's. Here's okay. a cash-rich company with earnings yeah. and, and a great future. Okay. But the shareholders have been the okay. problem. Okay. I got those three. I'm going to keep these notes. Good. We'll talk soon. We'll talk Thanks soon. Thanks, Bernie. Uh, McConnell from South Ocean.